Joining us now is the congressman, Democrat from the state of Washington. He represents the area that has a whole lot of folks watching this hour by hour, day by day. He's the Democratic Congressman Adam Smith. Congressman, thanks for being back with us here on the Hill. Appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. Of course, do you have a sense, sir, that this is going to be going on for possibly days? The last one was 57 days. Or could this be weeks? It's hard to predict, but it does look like it's going to be not, not a matter of days. It's going to be longer. Look, hmm. Boeing employees have put up with a lot for a long time. Uh, they've had you know, their pensions cut. They've not seen the same wage increases, while meanwhile, you know, the shareholders are consistently rewarded. I mean, the best story I can tell you is a, a friend of mine who I grew up with, and I know a lot of people worked at Boeing, because I grew up right next to SeaTac yeah, sure. Airport, not far uh, from a number of Boeing employees. He worked, worked there for 30 years, and he still remembers the month when they cut the pensions of the workers by over half, and in the same month that a multi-billion dollar stock buyback. Now, for too long, Boeing has taken their employees for granted, and they want to catch so up. So I think this could take a while. Not to, not to minimize that argument, because I'm, I'm, I'm sure that for folks who work for that company by the tens of thousands, they want higher pay, better wages. Who doesn't, right? But we've also seen the president and the White House, for example, the president was on the picket line at the UAW strike. And we saw how that went to several states and how long that lasted. And I wonder, we hear about the, the, the possible port strike on the East Coast. If right now these unions feel emboldened, knowing the position of the White House. Well, well, I hope so. I mean, the, the result of the UAW <laughs> strike was that working people finally got a really significant pay raise. And, and those companies are still doing quite well. Yeah, they feel like finally they have someone in the White House who's going to have their back in difficult negotiations. When you look at the last, gosh, 50 years now, particularly the last 30, at the amount of wealth that has been created in this country, and where has that wealth gone? The overwhelming majority of it has gone to the top 1% and not to the workers. It's always stock buybacks. It's always increased shareholder values. It's always massive bonuses for executives. And, oh, gosh, we got a tough quarter here, so we're going to have to cut your pension. Yeah, workers are standing up and saying, we want our fair share. And I hope they let, succeed. Let me, 